welcome back to another video in this video we are going to install the cisco iou router so click on routers go to new template click next and i will go to routers and i will select cisco iou l3 router click on install click on next and you see that it's already been detected one of my files over here i go to my downloads and i think this is the file which have it, it has been matched that one so we'll just select that one click on next click on yes and it will upload that file so once the upload has been done so we will finish this one and click on finish and yes and similarly we are going to do with the cisco iou l2 device too so i will go to the switch this time and you here you see that iou l2 switch also so you have l3 with router and l2 with switch click on install click on next and you see that it's not detecting anything so if i go back there so this is the file which has been detected so i will say that rename i will copy that file name come back to my gns3 click on create new version so i will say that 15 point uh, what's the version was 15.12014 15.1 that should be good click on ok i will just paste that one file name click on ok and now you see that it scanned my directory and found that one so click on next click on yes and it will upload the appliance to the gns vm So once that is been done click on finish and click on ok so now i will go to my routers and you can see that iou router so i will track to my topology and it's giving me some problem over here i will go to my switch and this is the switch iou so i will drag that to my topology yep so i do have some problem with my iou router so what I will do, I will just uh, right click over here, delete the template, click yes, create a new template, create next, go to my routers and just go IOU L3, click on install next and I will just create a new file that is 15.1.2 maybe, whatever it might be, just give a number. So right click, copy the name, go to your gns3 click on ok delete the file name paste it over here click on ok and install this file now finish so once that is been done just drag here and it should come in now there is a problem over here because if i start this device it will give me a problem that iou file license file has been not found so if i start this device still it gives me the same problem so let's go ahead and fix that problem so now first thing i will go to my gns vm and note down the ip address and i will open my party session and i will just connect to my 60.120 so 192.168.60.129 so i will connect it to the ssh and change the port number to 22 and click open so now click on accept and the username is gns3 and password is also gns3 so if you do not remember you can see that ssh gns3 and password is also gns3 user and password so once you are in this one just click on enter you see that it's currently on the ok button just click on enter and go to the shell and you see that i am in the shell now so i am in the console of my gns3 vm so let's go to my google now and just uh, search it for cisco iou license for gns3 and let's look in here so this is www.systemconfig.com so 
so what i will do just make sure that you have an internet connecti to connectivity to your uh, gns right so let's go ahead and you see that this is there is a command over here so i will just copy that command come back to my gns3 and paste it no it did not copy so i will go back to it copy yep so it has now copy that to url just click enter and it will download the file from that one that is cisco iou key generation that's a python file it will automatically download so when that is been done again copy this another command come back to your gns3 paste it over there so you can see that cisco iou 3f you see that that is the file which has been downloaded from my url just click enter now you can see that license just select it will automatically copy now so these two lines you have to copy come back to your gns now go to the edit preferences and select on ios and unix and paste it over here and click on apply okay now just delete this one devices over here now just drag one more device now and right click and now you can see that this time it has started right click and console device started up similarly for the l2 that is my switch so i will go ahead start it has been started now console i got the console for this right so see that iou2 this is iou2 and i will just take this one console that is io4 and io4 uh this one should be the switch so i think i have uh, installed the wrong file okay not a problem we'll go ahead and delete the template again once again click on new template click on next go to the switch ioul2 click on install next click on new version 15.1 should be good come back to my download folder this is the one so i will just say rename copy and uh, paste it over there click on ok next yes finish okay now i will just drag it over here okay so i think that's the host name which has been changed so i will just change it to switch and click on okay and just start the device so yeah i got confused that was a switch name hw host name so gns will take automatically the host name so that's the reason i got confused not a problem so you can see that switch show version now and to make sure that this is l2 and i will go back to my router and i will say that show version to make sure that this is l3 right so now show ip interface brief these are the interfaces over here you can see that serial interfaces as well as ethernet interfaces i think let me go ahead and check show ip interface brief in my switch and you can see that they are total ethernet interfaces and you do have vlan one by default configured over now let's uh, change the settings over here so i don't want the serial cables or anything so i'll just delete this one from my topology go back to my preferences go back to my ios devices so this is my layer 2 so i will say that iou l2 so just want to change the name that's it for the switch but for the routers i will go ahead and click and i will say that iou l3 this is the name and if i go to my network you see that serial adapters i don't want i will just make it zero click ok apply ok now if i go back to my router now so right click start take the console 
and let's check whether the serial int interfaces have been attached or not it should be removed so if i say that show ip interface brief now you can see that i got only ethernet interfaces so that's how you are going to resolve the issue of the iou license and the iou router installations i hope you have enjoyed this video see you in the next video